Alright guys, hello and welcome to Waste of Space. It's a neat looking game and so we're going to dive in and give it a try. We're going to do the tutorial because I'm new, I have no idea what to do. And we're going to see what it's about. I believe the premise of it is you build a spaceship and you continuously build it up and expand. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this takes me back. It's so simplified. It reminds me of old, old, old 2010 Roblox games. Holy crap. <clears throat> Welcome. This is a survival sandbox game in which the players can create anything they want. It utilizes the classic Roblox building tool and the hammer tool. Okay, so... <laughs> Yo, super old tools. Yeah, there's no control zing out of this one, Chief. Once you screw something, you screw something. That's it. Ooh, hammer isn't delete this time. They got tool tips at least. That's amazing to see, to be honest, because tool tips are kind of rare. I I feel like it's a feature a lot of people don't use. Uh, the universe in Waste of Space is incredibly large, filled with alien spaceships, planets, stars, black holes, and other celestial objects. Before constructing anything too advanced, you must first learn the basics. On the bottom of your screen, four tools first allows you to engage in fist fist combat with other players. Okay, cool, I guess. Next item is the harvest tool? Do you mean this? There's no way this is the harvest tool. This is literally a move tool. <laughs> Press three, which is the harvest tool. Okay, yes. And then we can move these, right? Grab tool. Grab objects. Hammer tool. Allows you to mainly resize and adjust other objects, which is incredibly important for construction and everything. So basically, this is a god of all tools. C joint. Cool. Surface, we got scaling. And oh, you can get very small with it. Okay, pretty cool. I don't think we can edit though. Once it's there, it's kind of screwed. <laughs> uh, I tried clicking this to see if it was like a, oh, can we put the values like one, 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 and then it would be resized to one brick. Oh, it even has a uh, paint. Uh, you're really out here gonna make me use RGB manually. That's a pain. Configure, apply, cool. Alright. Uh, hammer tools allows you to do that. Try resizing the material you just mined. Make sure to drag it onto the ground first and resize. So we'll drag it, we'll drag it. And we'll resize both of them. To see if the tutorial is happy. Tutorial is happy. Uh, resize an object with the hammer tool, try crafting an object. First, make sure you have the stone near you, then go to the crafting menu by pressing V or the blue button on the left side. Alright, so over here, craft. Whoa! Rubber? Delay wire? Hatch? Scrapper? Screen? Port? Cylinder? There's a lot! An <laughs> antenna? <laughs> okay. It's all very basic, but it's very impressive. Mustard gas? Claymore? Okay. <laughs> what even, dude? This is a lot. A pistol. Technically a Luger, but okay. It is a pistol, I, I will say. M1. Uh... 
Let's see what else they get. Whoa, the list is huge. <clears throat> Dude, it goes on, SMG. Comedy. Water. The water looks so weird when comparing it to the other designs. That is impressive that there's so much stuff in here. And is there actually sorting? Nah, maybe not yet. But there is a search bar, so that's pretty cool. Lock, help, trash. Model loader. Cool. Okay, so we need to have the stone near us. It's near us. Press V. Let's see here. Try crafting a thrust template from stone. So I think the easiest way going about it is gonna be, yeah. Okay, cool. Missing, what do you mean? Do I have to click it? What, <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, we need stone. Let's see what we got then. Uh, let's get rid of that. That's iron. Uh, is that stone? That has to be stone, that's stone. This is copper? That's copper, sweet. Okay, so we go here. Do I have to be near it or do I have to click it? Craft. Hey, pretty cool. Uh, with all the basic tools covered, now we go over, wait, what? Now we go over the basic gameplay and mechanics. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> oh no. All right. The first important mechanic is the energy system. The energy system is what provides power to everything in the universe, allowing complex machines to be created. It's power, uh, it powers things such as factories, spaceships, mechs, etc. Take a look at the setup next to you and see the basics of it. The solar panels give energy to the power cell, while the power cell stores electricity. The light then consumes electricity from the power cell and thus lights up. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty simple connection. Solar panel, wire, connects, connection, light. <laughs> wire, wire. <clears throat> Pretty cool. You can see it go up. No, I want to go back up. All right. While many people assume wires are realistically one way, <clears throat> in this game, they're actually in all directions. I kind of don't like that sentence because that just means it's going to be a wire mess if you make anything complex. So let me let me draw for you something. If I can bring the UI up here. Let's say we have a solar system here. We have a storage bank here and we have the light up here just as already drawn. But let's say we put a light here but we also want to put another solar system here. We already have this established, but for the other establishment, we would ideally want to go across for the shortest distance, but the issue lies in between here. It's not a major issue in a simple scenario like this because yeah, the wires, everything's going directly back to this one. But what if we want it to only go to a source over here? So we make that connection. Everything's kind of powering each other and if we only want that light up there. Let's say we have a bunch of storage banks. And they're all bringing electricity up to this one and this one's I mean solar panels solar panels bringing up electricity to this one and we're going to use it for a major plan and uh, the wires connecting is gonna be a pain I don't know but like big projects it might be a pain it's kind of like how you don't really want redstone in Minecraft to connect to everything because then some weird things unintentionally might connect, you know? Uh, but yeah, that's my idea about it. I mean, it's, it's good for simple stuff like this. Like, this is very simple connections. But like, what if we don't want something to connect to the main wires, you know? What if we just want it off to the side? <laughs> 
Hey! Oh shit, there is a switch! That's awesome. Turn the switch on. Okay, cool. There is advanced items. There's switches that prohibit electricity to flow or not to flow. Cool. As you can see, switches control the flow of electricity. Yes. Uh, another form of electricity is called trigger energy. This allows you to trigger certain objects such as doors, hyperdrive, hyperdrivers? The hell's a hyperdriver? Try clicking this button next to a door. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. It's very basic, simple, it's cool. I want to become one with the door. I cannot become one with the door. Now let's try to combine both of these two elements together. We can create a button that toggles a switch to turn the light on off. Button turns the switch and that comes on. Cool. So we can put this very far away. And then when we're away, but we want the light on, we can just toggle it through this button. And that's cool, it still works as a switch. <laughs> Automation! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Automation is an incredibly useful part of the game. It allows you to assemble and manufacture spaceships, iron weapons, etc. Before creating a factory, you will first uh, need a way to generate power. This is where a burner generator comes in. Burns coal? Yeah, that's coal. That's coal. <laughs> that's hilarious. How do we get the coal inside? That's an extractor, a bin. Okay, the burner generator allows you to generate electric power from coal deposits. The extractor is first extracts coal and puts in the bin. Burner generator then uses the coal to supply the power cell. <clears throat> the power cell then has enough electricity which powers the extractor to extract even more coal. Basically, it's a loop. Coal goes in, coal powers machine, machine able to run longer because coal was fed. But also, excess energy stored. Uh, cycle, yes. Before this uh, cycle starts, however, it must first be initiated by inserting coal into the bin. Try dropping coal into the bin using the drag tool. There's our bin. Can we get another piece? I don't feel confident with one piece. Wait, 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 wait. Our piece is here, isn't it? Yeah. Try dropping coal. How in the fuck do I drop it though? How do I put it in the bin? I was not told upon this. <laughs> Can we click that? No. Not a tooltip. Uh, bin. Bin. Consume. Try dropping coal. How do I drop the coal? <laughs> ah. Okay, I am genuinely confused on how to drop it in the bin. Hold on. Please? <laughs> it didn't work. Um, uh, hmm. Lock. I wish the UI wasn't there. Self-lock, lock. Nah, locking is more like allowing to be manipulated or not. Uh, paint, configure, configure. Eh. Surface, resize. Can we try messing with gravity? Oh, messing with gravity worked. What the fuck? Why did it work? 
Why'd that work? Why'd it work? Uh, okay, cool. Now we have lung cancer and we will die within the next few years. <laughs> oh no. Colon helmet. <laughs> oh my god. As you can see, using burn generator is a useful way of creating energy from coal deposits. It allows you to create electricity by extracting coal with a surplus of both coal and electricity. Simple factory. Use your new knowledge of wiring connect power cell to the extractor on the copper deposit. Mine a few copper, craft it to wire, and set up the extractor. 5,000. Okay, cool. Mining hurts. Uh, let's see here. Wire. How much? One. Cool. Not that. This. Go here. Please? Resize. Infinite. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> As you can see, the extractor is automatically mining resources from the deposit. This allows you to create factories by extracting resources. However, you first must apply uh, proper store your extracted resources. You can store them by using an object called a pin, uh, a bin. Uh, try crafting a bin and connecting it to your thingy. Bin. What resource do we need? Three iron. How to get iron? Are you iron? Iron. We need three of you. Pickaxe with no texture. Bin. Craft. Wait a second. This didn't go away. We able to, you know, keep it? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. Very good. <laughs> it's so dumb. Resize my iron. There we go. Uh, like wires, extractors, and other objects have a way to transfer resources. Cool. <clears throat> a shoot. An assembler via shoot will allow the assembler to assemble objects using resources from that bin. <clears throat> e. Where's the assembler? <laughs> Attach one end of the shoot to the bin of copper. Attach the other end of the chute to the assembler. Wait, where's the... You gave me... Okay, I need to make a chute. Iron. Chute. Alright, here we go. We got the cool thing. <clears throat> Uh, shoot to the bin assembler. All right, we're gonna glue this on like here. Shut up. And we're gluing that on. Yeah, that, that looks perfectly fine. Not at all. Fuck. Stop. Stop. Stay. Good. Okay, we're gonna cheese. Assembler, infinite power. Maybe not. Uh, actually, not 
Not bad. <laughs> that is so stupid that this is allowed. <laughs> that is absolute garbage. <laughs> no. Ooh. Equip your hammer, go to the configure tab and click on the extractor. Hammer, configure. Ooh, cool. Iron. No, 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 no. Iron, apply. Do I need uppercase? Iron. I needed uppercase. Uh, they need to be spaced at least 50 studs apart from each other. Fix the factory? What'd you guys do? Iron bin, copper bin. Resize. Long. Long. What idiot uses this much copper? You could have just used one wire and resize it. This goes somewhere. We'll just elongate it to there. Uh, this also goes somewhere. We can connect this to here and call it a day. <laughs> That's not the proper way. What is that, chief? Should I actually look around? Fine. That's coal. We need the coal up and running first. Uh, all of this is the burn generator, that's the chute, the chute takes from the bin, the bin goes down to the little cubby, and the cubby, this is iron, why is this iron? Okay, that's connected to that, that's all good, so those go into the iron bin, that's cool. So now we just take some coal, we start burning it, and then we're good, this will extract junk. You can't? Okay, fine. Shut up and fall. <laughs> there. We're good. We're getting power. Are we? We're at four power. How are we so low? What happened? Here's my theory. Iron bin, copper bin. Why do we have this connection? This is a chute. The chute... We're not storing... Coal. At all. Why do we have this? I'm confused. Mmm... Sorry, what? I'm actually very, very confused. The only connection this needs is like here. I think. But anyways, something is getting power somewhere. I have no idea what the hell that is for. Wire, wire. Okay, we got a lot here for some reason. That's connected to there. We need a power source. Power source wire is connected to there. Why is this here? We already have the power connection. And that's for iron. Can we just make solar panels and call it a day? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, here's an idea. Uh, 
electricity. No. I don't know what it would be. Because we tried storage and we already tried electricity. I'm looking for the storage for the electricity because this coal is stupid and it's gonna burn itself out. Unless it just needs a little bit more help, but it feels underwhelming considering it's feeding a power source already. Where the hell did you come from? need to be connected somewhere? How and why? What? The burn generators are here. Power's connected there. The chutes should take the coal from the bin to the generator. Wait, why did that one work? out of all of the ones that work. Yeah, it's overheating itself, trying to power these ones. Isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Uh, we can't use you just yet. We need a storage bin for electricity. But we actually don't have one. <laughs> you go here, you go here, you go here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why does this method suck? It's still burning itself out. What am I missing? Because we got the chutes. We have an iron deposit for some reason. And it can't cycle. <clears throat> I'm so confused. <laughs> Got iron here. Iron won't power us. So I'm very, very confused. Okay, this is very stupid. I thought of every possible thing. And it was so simple. All you have to do is configure, click it, and tell it what to mine. This is so dumb. <laughs> so, the issue wasn't that it was overheating itself. I even tried it. I tried removing a few of these and I noticed it went up, but then it went down and it died. So I was like, what could be the solution? And I was like, what if I tell it what to mine? Because what if that's the situation? And it was. You have to, you have to tell it what to do or it won't do the thing that you want it to do. I forgot the exact quote, but junk in, junk out or bullshit in, bullshit out. If you put bullshit into a computer, the computer will give you bullshit. Basically, if you don't tell something correct commands, then it won't give you correct results. <laughs> so for this one, we're gonna put iron, we're gonna apply it, and then we're gonna get with the wires, we're gonna rig everything up and it will be good. This one, we want copper. Copper, copper, copper. The shoots are already in place pretty much. We can put it on that track Then we can resize it. PP enlarge. <laughs> I'm 
very mature. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I don't see the reason for this pipe being here. So we're going to use this pipe to give that one power. And this is how we do it. We don't have a bin, we don't have a bin, we don't have a bin, we don't have a bin. We have a bin over there, that's a copper bin, but we don't have a bin. Iron bin, we, we don't have an iron bin. Can we try being stupid? Maybe, perhaps. Two different wires. Copper bin. Copper bin flows over there to the copper bin. Iron bin, copper bin. Sweet. Guess we'll give it life. Did it work? That one, they're working. They are working. Hey, it's all fixed. It's all fixed. It works great. I don't think the game liked my solution. It's a good solution. Yo, my solution actually worked. Check it out, it says next. Even though it's missing parts. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is, this is a useless connector, by the way. This is totally useless, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, check it out, it's all working. If we really wanted to save, you know, some expenses, we could have just used one of these to connect that one with this one and have everything just go. But whatever, sweet. <clears throat> Wire equal default planet, thruster template equal main menu. What? Wire default planet? Wait, what? I'm so confused with these. I really have low IQ. <laughs> I overcomplicated this one, chief. Basically, monkey lang language. Craft wire to go to a default planet. Craft a thrust template to go to the main menu. We're heading to the main menu. We've done a lot. <laughs> that is very cool. But, uh, thrust. We need stone? God damn it. We gotta walk over here because all of this is literally copper, iron, and coal. Actually, yeah, okay. Is that stone? That's not stone. We don't even have stone. There we go, we have stone. You chose, go to the main menu. Very well, have fun. I will have fun. Goodbye, tutorial. Is it? Is it gonna send me? It's kind of taking a while. Oh boy. Hey, I don't think it's gonna send me, guys. But that's the end of the tutorial. After taking a quick dive into the... Well, not quick, but... <laughs> after getting into the tutorial, tutorial, it's super interesting how much, you know, there is behind the scenes of mechanics because they gotta script everything. And this is very, very cool. It's very complex, even though the design is very, very simple. But I find it very intriguing because we got we literally got whole manufactories over here. We got deposits, we got resources, we got each different item doing a different piece. We got different pieces able to craft new cool pieces and it's an interesting game. Uh, maybe I'll check in more in the actual game outside of the tutorial, but for now, I'll see you.